Hello students, welcome in my YouTube channel Sivam Education. In today's class, we will study about schemic reaction with thermic additions. Now, what is the purpose of schemic reactions? Then we can write it by using a schemic reaction when we have a carboxylic acid. This carboxylic acid on reaction with a hydrazoic acid. When react with hydrazoic acid, it is observed that in the presence of hydrazoic acid in presence of sulfuric acid. When it reacts in the presence of sulfuric acid, it gives a primary amine with one carbon atom less. It is observed that it gives a primary amine. Whatever primary amine obtained, it has a one carbon atom less. So we are getting a primary amine from carboxylic acid by using a schemic reactions. Okay. Now we can write in this way that whatever carboxylic acid we have, this carboxylic acid, we are reacting with this hydrazoic acid, N3H. Now we are using concentrated sulfuric acid. In the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid, temperature approximately 160 degrees Celsius is required. When we hit this reaction mixture, we are getting a first primary amine and we are getting two byproducts. One is carbon dioxide gas and second is nitrogen gas. So it is observed that this acid can be converted into primary amine by use of hydrazoic acid and sulfuric acid as a catalyst. So how this reaction occurs? This can be understood by using a mechanism. But to understand mechanism, first we will uh, understand about what is the structure of hydrazoic acid. Now it is an N3H. Hydrazoic acid, nitrogen, nitrogen. In this way, it has a this type of structure. Now we have nitrogen in a non-bonding electron pair. It has a positive charge and it has a negative charge and electron. Now this is a resonating structure. So it, another way we can write in this way. This nitrogen having a triple bond with nitrogen. It has a positive charge. Now this nitrogen having a two non-bonding electron pair and negative charge. So now we have taken this carboxylic acid. Now this carboxylic acid. It is observed that in the presence of acid, in the presence of acid, it undergo protonation reactions. So in a reaction medium, we have sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid gives H plus iron. So now this H plus iron will approach to this oxygen. So when H plus iron approach, it gives electron pair to, it will approach to H plus iron. So this pi bond electron transfer on oxygen and oxygen give electron pair to H plus iron. And as a result, we will get this type of structure. Here carbon having a positive charge, here hydroxyl group 1 and here there is another hydroxyl. So now we are getting this type of carbocation. When it react, we are getting a carbon with a positively charged species. Carbocation will be formed. Now in this carbocation, hydrozoic acid will attack on this. This is a best nucleophile. It will attack on it. When this attack, we are getting this type of structure. Structure we can write in this way. Here now, carbon with a two hydroxyl group. There is a one hydroxyl group and this is a another hydroxyl group. Now this nitrogen having a hydrogen here and here nitrogen, nitrogen double bond. Or we can say nitrogen, nitrogen triple bond with the positive charge and here electron pair. So now, this structure will be obtained. Now further, it is observed that we have taken a sulfuric acid. So in the presence of sulfuric acid, dehydration occurs from here H plus and from here hydroxyl group will remove in the form of water. And here this electron pair given to carbon, so carbon oxygen double bond will form. So we get this structure RC double bond O here now nitrogen having a this hydrogen and and triple bond N and nitrogen having a positive. So now when we heat these structures, the best living group of world is nitrogen gas. This electron pair will be taken by nitrogen. It will remove in the form of nitrogen gas. And we get this structure R, C double bond O. This nitrogen having a hydrogen. Now this nitrogen having a hydrogen and with this it has a positive charge. It has a positive charge. Now this bond electron pair is taken by this nitrogen. So nitrogen will get a positive charge. So now this nitrogen has a positive charge. So in order to obtain stability, it will take electron from. 
it will take electron from this bond so this bond electron transfer on nitrogen and as a result this bond electron transfer on nitrogen so h plus ion loss will occur and we get this type of structure now r c double bond o nitrogen it has a one non bonding electron pair was already there now this hydrogen electron pair also taken so we get this structure which is known as a nitrene now whatever nitrene obtain it is unstable so in order to obtain stability nitrogen give electron pair to carbon and here this electron pair alkyl group with electron pair transfer on nitrogen so as a result we will get this structures r n double bond c and double bond o and this structure is known as a isocyanate so this isocyanate is obtained and now you know very well this isocyanate on hydrolysis in the presence of water on hydrolysis it is observed that from here carbon dioxide group will remove and as a result we get a primary amine so it is observed that we get this primary amine we get this primary amine from carboxylic acid we have started with the carboxylic acid so carboxylic acid is converted into primary amine with one carbon atom less now suppose your question that how isocyanate is converted into primary amine then in hoffman rearrangement reaction we have already discussed that hydroxyl group attack on this it is converted into carboxylic acid and carboxylic acid further decarboxylation give us a negatively charged species on nitrogen and further it gives a primary amine so ek bar aap hoffman rearrangement reaction sara dekh lijiye ye step fir repeat karne ki zarurat nahi yahan par so uh, watch this video of my rearrangement reactions usme aapko pata chal jayega isocyanate is converting into primary amine in two step so once again how this reaction occurs schemic reaction is used to convert carboxylic acid into primary amine in this reaction carboxylic acid is reacted with a hydrazoic acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid now in sulfuric acid giving us h plus ion which approach to oxygens so on protonations it gives a this type of ion r c double bond o h o h this pi bond will break electron transfer oxygen oxygen give electron to hydrogen now this hydrazoic acid this nitrogen will approach to carbon and we are getting this type of structure from this water will eliminate and we are getting this structures now hitting on this structure we are getting this nitrogen will the best leaving group it will remove and we get this type of structures now we have nitrogen in a positive charge in order to obtain stability this hydrogen will lost electron pair will be transfer on nitrogen and we are getting a nitrene now nitrene nitrogen having a nitrogen having a two electron pair it has a two electron pair so in order to obtain stability here nitrogen give electron to carbon and this alkyl group with electron transfer on nitrogen so now this nitrogen having a three bond and one electron pair this structure is known as a isocyanate and you are knowing very well isocyanate on hydrolysis this carbon dioxide will remove and we get a primary so by using this method one can convert carboxylic acid into primary amine now schemic reaction is also used for ketone now variety of application of schemic reactions now schemic reactions carboxyl group c double h group directly converting into amine nh2 and condition is n3h hydrazoic acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid so now first applications now we have this structure c double h and here ch3 now this structure is known as para toluic acid now this para toluic acid allowed to react with hydrazoic acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid so now very simple thing now mechanism you are knowing very well so what happen that when n3h and concentrated sulfuric acid is there c double h group converting into nh2 group and we get this product so structure will be obtained is known as a para toluidine it is considered as a para toluidine para toluidine will be obtained or we can write this uh, for amino toluene we can write now second suppose we have a this type of phenyl acetic acid now this is the structure of phenyl acetic acid now same condition no any change for phenyl acetic acid if you have seen this condition is given that n3h and concentrated sulfuric acid we are heating this solution then simple things carboxyl group according to mechanism will convert into nh2 via isocyanate 
So we can write product of these reactions. This product will be obtained CH2 and H2. And this structure is known as a benzyl amine. So by using this simple way, we can convert carboxyl group into NH2 group. And whatever amine obtained, primary amine has a one carbon atom less as compared to carboxylic acid. Suppose third application, we have this structure CH2, CH2, C double H, C double H. Now what is the name of structure? You are knowing very well, it is known as succinic acid or butane dioic acid. Now this is succinic acid. Now succinic acid allowed to react with this N3H and reaction condition concentrated sulfuric acid. So now what happens that this carboxyl group will convert it into NH2 group and as a result we will get this structure CH2, NH2, NH2 and this structure is known as ethane 1,2 diamine or we can say ethylene diamine. This ethylene diamine will be obtained. If you mechanism, then you can write very easily this product. Now, ketone also converted into this different type of product. Ketone also giving us schemic reactions, but product is a little different. Suppose we have this ketone. Ketone is allowed to react with a hydrazoic acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid. Now, when we hit this structure, it is observed that nitrogen will remove. Nitrogen gas will remove and we get this type of structure. R, C, double mod, O, N, H and R, dash. So, this type of N alkyl amide will be obtained. So, it is observed that ketone also giving us this type of reactions. For example, we have taken this structure, benzene ring and oxygen. So, it is considered as a cyclohexanone. Now, this cyclohexanone, same reaction condition, N3H and hydrozoic acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid. And we are hitting these things. So, what happens that this, in between these two, in between the, this bond will break, in between these two, according to mechanism, NH will enter. And as a result, we get this type of structure, CONH, we can write CO and H and here CH2 5 times. This structure we can write in this way also, we can write this structure in this way also. We can check this number of carbon atom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, here 6 and here 7. So as a result, we will get a 7 member ring, this is 7. So this structure whatever obtained to us, it is known as a caprolactam. Now, you are knowing very well, caprolactam is the most important thing. Nylon 6 polymer can be obtained from caprolactams. So, in today's lecture, we have studied how carboxylic acid can be converted to primary amine. This reaction is known as schemic reactions. In schemic reactions, carboxylic acid converted into primary amine having a one carbon atom less. It has a specific mechanism, mechanism pata, then you can write different product based on this application. So students, my lecture kaisa laga aapko? Acha laga? To like kare, share kare, aur subscribe karna mat bhuliyega.